Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome to Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. And I am a dinoholic. I just can't stop eating dinohol. I really should stop hunting the dinosaurs so much. They're uh, they're the most dangerous game. If you thought it was man, but we could probably just round up Ragamuffin City and go hunt us some man. It wouldn't be a problem, Senpai. When did you wear the prototype nerve enhancer? I don't remember actually saying that you could wear that, but I guess that's okay. Why are you hot? You can only manage up to 85 degrees. What is doing this to you? Is it is it the hemp fabric? Maybe. Here, take off these wraps. That it made no difference. Okay, something is bringing down your your actual like tolerance to heat. Like, a lot. Is it your pants? Do you need to change your pants? It, oh, it's probably the apron of summer. If I were to guess. Let's try taking that off. No, that made no difference either. It, it can't be the shield. The tunic? Oh, it's the tunic. The tunic's making a difference. There you go. These boots... No, the boots aren't making a difference. Pants? Pants aren't really making a difference. It's just a tunic. Anyway, he's mostly shirtless now, in case you were looking for that in your life. And there it is. Okay. All his items are now allowed. Do you write hanging out in the far corners of Century City? And we got a slaver here in Ragamuffin City from the Grey Crag Amalgamation. Trader Pezza, probably willing to sell this dromedary camel. I mean, I'm not that tempted. You don't even have a breeding pair with you. Why, why do you insult me like this? Anyway, hello, raccoon. How you doing? Oh, you're dead. Well, I'm just going to eat you. Edible sickness. What else is new? Okay. So, we're planning on shipping some more bone creep so that we can create our bone zone here and make a better place to live, basically. Hey, we're getting some fertilizer. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. And some generic wood. Because that makes sense. In this day and age. The party's finished. That's good. Because then I can trade with our slaver friends. Which is a sentence I don't get to say very often. And I don't necessarily want to. Dude, this is a 15-year-old camel. It's slow as hell. Why would I want your slow-ass camel? Answer me this. Laza. Peza. Sorry. I can get your name right. All right. Let's do some talkies. What's up? L Yo. <laughs> Please. Take some of my high as hell ping... Or, I, I almost called you a penguin. Guinea pigs. No, I'm not all right, in case you were wondering. Okay. Now, don't sell Terminator. Why would, why would you do this? Why would you sell Terminator? There's something wrong with you? All right, we're selling the tiny one. Oh my God, they're worth 25 each. Good Lord. This is a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna keep Daniel and Deficiency and Savage. I think I'm gonna keep Perseus too. Yeah, I'll probably keep Perseus and Rocco. Elvis can go though, and Sal. All right, we're keeping our sheep. Dude, we made 500 just off of the guinea pigs. Literally the guinea pigs and no other animal. Man, pets are worth a lot of money. Who would have thought? Yeah, literally the dromedary is the only thing you have to sell. Is this... Is this a joke? I mean, you have 200 pemmican, you have 12 herbal medicine, but you're selling those at a god-awful price. Dude. I don't think I've ever been so insulted in my life. What is this? I don't want you freaking dromedary. Just take this stuff and get. Get the hell out of my colony. Worst rip off this side of the freaking planet. Tell you what. I'm actually miffed. We got 9,000 dinosaur meat over here. Also, Latchy's 30 years old. Someday he'll get a new name. In fact, screw it. Let's get, let's get that new name going now. Let me see here. 
Thankfully, I've made it so that the game runs in the background. Okay. Cool. You just pull up the name list here. Oh, there's everybody. It's pretty great. Okay. What's your actual name? <laughs> Malachi Latchy Rabinhurts. That is that is a, an amazing name. It, it seriously, I love everything about it. You child name blood game survivor. I'm gonna pick a name from this list, and I think I'm gonna pick Kampachi. Because Malachi Kampachi Rabinhurts just sounds good to me. Okay. So now we got Kenpachi. We can't see his full name, so we're going to call him Kenpi. When we don't remember the full name. But we got that out of the way. We're growing sugar cane over here. It's pretty great. We're going to have to turn it into sugar eventually. So I'm thinking that's actually a good sign to move this over here. We may change the freezer up as well, but we might not. But why am I moving this over here? Because this is where we're going to do all of our milling and stuff. So that's in production, and that's called a, a mill, a milling stone. We could make out a bone creep. We, we, I think we have the bone ash for this sitting outside of our colony, so let's make out a bone ash. Bad temperature. Don't even joke at me about that. All right? I ain't laughing. I ain't laughing. I don't care about the work speed penalty so much. Dude, duck too. You okay? No, you just lost your beak. You'll be fine. I'm sure of it. We're not gonna give you <laughs> we're not gonna give you smoke leaf oil or anything like that. Challenge is pregnant. More muffalo is always a good thing here. Okay. Now we got our boys sitting down here. We got stuff to build. It's only 3 a.m., so nobody's building anything yet, but the next day. Station has inspired surgery. Dude, if I want to install anything, this is the time. I have like no attack dinos left over here anymore. I got plenty over in Century City. I don't have any over here. This is an unfortunate matter. Kind of. I suppose I could get an elephant or something instead. They're not the worst pack animals. Excuse me with the combat supplier trade ship known as the Lynn Partners? Let's give them a talking to. Oh, they're, they're not here. They're only here. Look, we can ignore the fact that that literally doesn't make sense. But uh, at least we could talk to them one way or the other. I suppose if they have something we really want, then I can just oh, ship over silver. I do have, yeah, I was going to say, I do have orbital trade beacons set up now. Not in our meat supply, but I don't think we want it in our meat supply. Not necessarily. We have an Ankylosaurus supply. Actually, we have two. Dude, we could end up with Ankylosaurus eggs. I gotta build another one of these. Four Ankylosaurus eggs. Oh, jeez. That's gonna be so good if that happens. I could breed Ankylosauri. Is that the, is that the right way to say Ankylosauri? I don't know if it is. Dude, you eating the apples off our trees. I mean, I don't think I should care that much because they're wild and I'm not really trying to... Oh my god, another one. Albium Export Company. Same place. Nope, that one's over here in Ragamuffin City. And it's a bulk goods trader, so they might have some really interesting stuff. I'm looking forward to this. All right. Dude, look at all these guinea pigs that will not be in our colony soon. It's great. Oh my lord. Oh, I love selling guinea pigs. Okay. But now for the important stuff. First of all, we got some sugar cane. It's pretty great. Okay. I mean, we don't want to... Silky? What's a silky? Breed of chicken. Named for its a atypically fluffy plumage. It's said to feel like silk. They're not well known for their calm, friendly temperament. They're fair layers, producing small, cream-colored eggs every few days. But can you use their fluffy plumage? You don't understand. This is the question that needs to be asked. Probably not. Although we could grow chickens. And they're not that expensive. Dude. Get a bunch of hens. 
You know what? Let's let's get a let's get a young two young cocks. Don't take that out of context, please. We'll take all your hens. If you take that out of context, I'm gonna be mad. You we can get a lab dog, that is. The lab lab dog. Labrador. La we get we can get a bunch of Labradors. I'm gonna hate it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hate it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a breeding pair of Labrador retrievers. And we're gonna have puppies. Dude, we have we're gonna have way too many animals. I ain't gonna stop, but we're gonna have way too many animals. Buy all of the components. I'm sure we could sell 5,000 worth of something. Dude, bulk goods traders are so good. Look at how much Ibex wool they have. I know what you're thinking. Why do we need Ibex wool? We don't. I'm actually gonna sell it, but still, we have 5,000 hemp fabric. Dude! Just take 2,000 of it. We're already in the positive again. We literally... We're, we're too good for this this universe. Oh my lord, we have we have thousands of tawny pelt. Sell some of it. We have a thousand. We have a. I have a lot of money. <laughs> okay, I should say a lot of wealth. Uh, I could buy all your apples and grapes, and we'll never have to worry about food again. Fruit drinks, watermelon sodas. You have five nanite vials. You have a 10,000 black painted wood. Just what I wanted. Oh my goodness. First of all, dead people clothing should go with you. And also, good garbage clothing that we're not repairing should go. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. There's so much. There's so much value being traded right now. I can't even deal. Well, good trade ships are the best. Okay. Now let's look for stuff we would actually want to buy. After we sell more of our dead people clothing. Dude, we are making a killing here. There you go. Peaked cap. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. It's, it's not what I wanted. It's a, it's a jest. I'm jesting you. They got tables. Yes, they do. They got tables. How about me? I mean, they have a lot of furniture, too. They have sleeping mats. They have actual, factual sleeping mats. And an Eternity Forge, which I don't need another one. Cushion chairs. Devil's Leaf Fabric Cushion Chair. It's pretty comfy. I mean... None of your... None of your furniture is that good. Sorry to say. And you don't have enough silver for this, so I'm gonna have to buy something off you. I could buy your plastic... Dude, yeah, let's buy all their plasteel. I know we gotta sell a lot more stuff to get an extra thousand blast steel, but I think that's gonna be worth it. Dude, buy all of this too. Can we make 30,000 in sales? I mean, probably. Let's sell 732 Stegosaurus hide. Sell all the Protoceratops hide. Sell 1,170 Dinosaurus hide. Sell all the Brachiosaurus hide. We're already down to 10,000. We could actually afford that in silver. All right, Carnotaurus hide can go. Allosaurus hide can go. Tri hide, Utah raptor hide, Utilianus hide, Brontosaurus hide can all go. Dude, we still have a bunch of <laughs> bunch of dinosaur hide. Oh, oh mercy! I'm tempted to sell the rhino hide as well, but I should get rid of the leathers that I'm not gonna use anytime too soon. So I'm gonna do that. It is going to put us in the positive. Which is good. I don't know if I have to tell you this. Elk hide, I guess that can go. Elephant skin, we'll keep that because we get a lot of that coming in. And we can, you know, get more blubbery leather for the same reason. Black wolf leather can go. Black pelts can go. Bird leather can go. Arctic wolf skin. That can go. Alpaca hide can go. We got alpaca wool coming out of the ears, so... Not too worried about that. Keeping the devil strain, the devil's leaf fabric. Dire wolf wool, unfortunately, can go. Synth thread, I gotta keep, though. Got a contractual obligations, you see. Let's see. Blended leather, yeah, we could sell that. We can always make more. Camel hair, I mean, we're gonna 
well, we're not going to get any more of that, actually. That can go. And look at that. We're still in the positive by quite a bit. Check out these alpacas and llamas. It's pretty great. I don't want to sell any animal that really makes stuff for us. So I think I'm done selling. We got animals. We got labs. We got hens. Dude, we made bank off this. A thousand plasteel. 152 components. A thousand silver. I mean, who cares? And these, and these two are already, like, going straight at it. Look at that. They're like, oh, you ordered, like, five hens? You're about to have five million? I hope you can deal with it. All right. And now we need to put in some, uh, first of all, these guys already have names. Divot and Wellington. Love them already. I'm already in love. All right. You can't do anything about it. There's nine labs in the wild? Excuse me? They gotta mean the ones that are on the ship. They have to, otherwise this doesn't make sense to my brain. Alright, we'll keep, um... See these Labradors, so I guess I should keep a decent amount of them. I'll keep, uh, 50 juvenile males and females. And then, like, 10 adults. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. We will train them in everything. We will train them young. I guess. Restrict them to the area. Pet zone, please. Restrict them. Restrict animals designated for slaughter. I mean, I don't want to slaughter any of them. Let's be real. I'd rather not. No, actually, you know, don't butcher excess. Duh, just turn that off. I don't have to butcher the excess. Duh. Restrict them. Animals marked for training. I don't think I need to do that. Assign masters. I mean, let's do it manually. Uh, set master following. I mean, yeah, don't follow when drafted. Do follow for field work. Make animals mark to try to follow their trainer. Yes, for sure. Okay. Manage. We got labs managed. Also, it's been over two days since we checked a couple of these. We need to get these a checking. All right. And now we need to check our silkies. Silky chickens. Now these buggers, I guess we'll auto-tame them. I mean, they'll... I don't know. We are butchering excess of these. Let's keep, uh, like, two males and five females. And then, I don't know, ten of the small ones. Restrict them. These are going in the livestock zone. Every single one. Manage that sucker. Cool. All right. I like it. Hey, Rocco, how's it going? How's your modern life? I hope it's good. Dude, I am... I'm happy <laughs> with this. Can someone do some manager work, please? Because I notice it hasn't been getting done. Yo, me. I need to uh, do management of one. How about I put refining and negotiating behind management? And then... I guess hunting can stay at a... I have 20 shooting skill. When did this happen? Uh, let's put that at a 3. And drugs at a 3. Social stuff can stay at a 2. Okay. I got priorities. Yes, I do. I'm hauling. I'm hauling? Well, I mean, I do have that as a priority. So I guess that makes sense. Chewy is tame the muffalo. Because, you know, that's what we need right now. More muffalo. Dude, these trades have been off the chain. Let's talk to the combat supplier. Sell them our weapons that we don't need. We actually have quite a few over here in Century City. Memes. Make some magic. Oh, a refugee at Century City. Uh, a Tunnel World Illuminator. That's an interesting job. Name Satsuki Klopel. Klopel. Something like that. She's 37 years old. She's being chased by the bloody lineup because, of course, she is. They are... Or she is not capable of violence. She's tough, inept, a pessimist, greedy, glutton, slowpoke, quick reap. Though, I mean, my god, have at least one positive trait, please. Sell the drugs we're not going to use. Look, is it too much to ask that they have at least one positive trait? 
If it is, I will admit that I'm in the wrong. Not really. I'm not ever going to admit that. Let's be real. You get a Morning Star. Dude, 13.49 damage. I'd love it. I mean, I can't get it because I can't afford it. I have nine of them. That's nuts. But I'd love it. That said, we, we're going to sell some of these guns. Yeah, we sell those. We'll keep the smoothbore musket. It could be good in the long run. This non-lethal shotgun's actually gone to hell, so I'm going to get rid of it. Let's see. They've got a grenade launcher that's pretty good. They got a, we got a compact assault rifle we could sell. First shot of three, range of 26. Ah, I can get rid of it. Smart LMG. A long smart LMG. It's a joke here. Anyway. Dude, a burst of five, but not much damage. That's the problem. Not much damage at all. Now, a smart machine gun with extra accuracy and less aiming time. This is the best tool when you need to sweep away acidic-blooded creatures. I guess that means, you know, like, the bugs. Again, with the small damage. I mean, it's not bad, though. Not bad by a long shot. We'll sell this minigun. We'll probably... You know what? Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should give it to someone who doesn't have much skill. Or someone who's trigger happy would be good with that too. I'm not going to buy the holy hand grenade. I've made that mistake before. We do have an extra charge rifle. I could sell it. I probably probably, excuse me, won't, but I could sell some of this armor we're not going to use. Sell this uh, vest that we're not going to use. All right. And then we'll just buy a hard hat. Probably not, but I could just letting you know the options out there. Warlord's Gauntlets is pretty great. So we got a little less than, let's say 3,500. We'll round it to that so that we have some money left over. What would I want to buy? A smart machine gun of haste? I mean, it, it lets you move farther, faster, farther and faster. A smart sniper rifle of the mind? I mean, that has some, has some accuracy going towards it, and it lowers your mental break threshold. It, it would actually be pretty good. I'm thinking some of these smart weapons would be a good idea. Tactical bullpup of haste? I mean, some decent short range accuracy. I'm not going to lie. I still can't afford this Morning Star, and that hurts. I really wish I could. I mean, I know I could send money over. I might be able to do that in time, actually. You know what? Let's see if we can. Okay. Over here in Ragamuffin City, where these apparently just won't get done. I'm going to tell three of these transport pods to get filled up. All right, sons, you're going to get filled. Let's drop off. Oh, we'll say, actually, 2261 silver. Uh, send off 80 gold as well. Why not? All right. And then let's send them. Oh, some of these weapons actually would be good to send because those can get sold, son. So sell some of these weapons. You know, where's my where's my 500 katanas? Let's sell some of those. Long swords, katanas, assaulting ironwood long sword of haste. I mean, it has some great properties to it. Too bad it's, you know, garbage. Still. Dude, a plasteel knife is worth so much. Elephant tusk and elk antlers. I don't know if they can sell them over there, but if they can, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to drop these in an area. I'm just going to put a freaking... Orbital Trade Beacon right over it. Because <laughs> that's just going to be faster. Alright. And then we just fill up the rest of the space with Bonecrete, basically. Because they need it. Bam. Alright. Fill those up, please. When you get the chance. No rush, except hurry up. Alright, we're still getting this stuff moved in. Okay, I don't think I need to... Speed that up anymore. I think they're going to do it at their own pace. Yeah, let the animals get the rest of that done. That'll be good. Vasilla has named Muffalo 18 Velma after being nuzzled. Well, Jinkies. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing manager stuff? I am doing manager stuff. Oh, we're going to get managed. Check it. Hello, Colony. Consider yourself managed. We really need to get some AI persona course. Okay, yeah, I'm doing the work now. It's probably going to take forever. Actually, everything's done. Go me. Actually, we never did move these uh, retrievers, did we? I bet you they're still working under the old... Yep. Uh, pet zone, please. 
get trained and everything. I guess I'll do this manually. And the birds didn't get uh, moved in either, but that's okay. I guess that's okay. That was Wellington. Where's uh, where's our other puppers here? Pupper pants, where are you? Where is our other puppers? Animals. Please. Divot. Where are you at? There you are. Pet zone, please. Alright. Does the pet zone have an easy supply of food? Yeah. You can always come to the in the actual food storage here and eat. Which I think is fine. I think that's just fine for now. You know what? I can do everything from here. I probably should. Silky hens into the livestock zone, please. It's actually the only thing I have to do there. All right. And one of these is currently set for the wrong animal, I believe. Turkeys. Actually, we do we have turkeys over here? We don't anymore. So, no turkeys. Yes, silkies. Poison ship. Of course, it's over here. All right. Well, I got to deal with that now. So, this nesting box. Clear all except for Ankylosaurus eggs. Do us this favor. Okay. Duck 2 is fully healed. Hallelujah. Got uh, got some fire over here. We have a freaking Devastator Mortar. I forgot about you, Trobo. Did I talk to you already? I mean... Yeah, I think I sold you this stuff, so cool. I honestly don't know if we're going to get the stuff moved over in time. Do we have people putting stuff in here? I mean, reynolds has been working on it, it looks like. Yeah. We might, but I doubt it. Cause, just because we have a lot of weapons and stuff to move over. It's fine, we can always call over a regular combat supplier, but I'd like to buy some of that stuff. We'll see. We'll take care of the poison ship after that happens, so this will probably get done in the next episode. How are we doing on power? Negative four. Negative four. Why though? That's the you see, that's the question. Alright, so we move this over. Preferred. I'm assuming this is that important. Yeah. So we can actually make both of these important. Doesn't matter which one you put it in. It's all good to me. There you go. As long as the food gets done and cooked and all that good stuff, I'm fine with it. All right. So when it comes to those bugs, and by bugs, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, poison ships. Taming a tur- Don't step near the poison ship. You will make them mad. And then I will be mad. Please understand. D -d Don't. Alright. So, uh... I gotta have to just fix this real quick here. Strong hate. Yeah, don't touch that. Thank you. Nothing like a little bit of strong hate in your life to make things work out a little bit better. Taming failed. Well, you can't say you didn't try. You are trying, Silvermane, and I appreciate you for it. Jenny, how's it going? You're wandering. You're just missing a single rib, but you're okay about it. Brexio has tamed the turkey. I guess that means it was all worth it. There's a dead otter down here, and that's unfortunate. You okay, Ankylosaurus? You're okay. You okay, Porcupine? You're okay. You okay, Clothing? I don't think you're okay. What is this? A small pile of sand. Please, don't even insult me. Well, you got some food poisoning, but that's worth it to learn a little bit of hauling. In my opinion. Alright. Things seem to be going alright over here. In Century City right now. Got some gelatin. It's pretty great. Yeah, the Devastator, if I have it aim at this, we can eventually take it out. Oh, we have some animals starving. Maybe things aren't going as well as I thought. This grass just hasn't grown enough yet, probably. That's okay. We got... We actually covered up all of our kibble space. I just realized that. Whoops. Uh, okay, that was... You know, that was a mistake on my part. It happens. 
mistakes happen, you know, happen to the best of us. Haul kibble over here, critical priority, please. Haul this stuff urgently, if you do me the favor. That's why we have animals starving over there. Hey, it got picked up before it ended up being a real long-term problem, okay? Look at these skills, man. I pay the bills. I like it. All right, precision turret got moved, so that means we got, uh, well, we got some stuff happening over here. This redo of a defense is getting redone slowly. Loading in progress. I understand this, I do. And I understand it's going to take god dang forever. That's okay, though. I'm not surprised Dismas has to run around and do a lot of maintaining, to be honest with you. Probably a lot of it got, uh, fell to the wayside during his journeys. So, he's probably going to spend a day or two doing that. We do need more constructors here, I think. Because we need more people doing what Dismas is doing. All right. There we go. Now they're eating. Please tell me those turkeys are going to get... It's literally inside of our colony. I'm actually mad. Let's go. All right. Good job. Black Bear 1 got food poisoning. You little jerk. Wait. It lived? The tiny boar lived? I mean, it lost both of its tusks. But it actually lived? I'm actually legitimately impressed and surprised. Apparently losing your tusk ain't that big a deal. Cool. Okay, wow. Cool. I already said that, but I, st I still believe it. You guys are finally leaving. Thank goodness. You're, like, taking up so much space here. Get. Get. Out of here. My house don't need this. Yeah, Dismas is still running around doing maintenance, so... This is going to take a while. Before actual construction begins again. Alright, I think maintenance goes off of... I want to say it goes off of... The construction skill, although it could also maybe go off deconstruct, but it's probably construction. Tempted to make Slim a number one at it. A buck has self tamed. And also, Trobo really loved his stay. He left us chinchilla fur. He left us all the stuff we stole it, sold him. That's. It's actually brilliant. And I'm kind of mad. Transport pods are done. Oh, dude! Dude, we might get a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Don't even insult me. Okay. If it makes it over there in time, we could still do the sale. There's a chance. Okay. Orbital trade beacon. Wait for this to land. Please don't land on an animal. That's all I ask. It left the comms range right now. Oh, I hate this game. I don't actually, but I love it. Oh, you actual dicks. You actual dicks. Okay. Well, here's my big recon rifle. Here's a bunch of garbage for you. <laughs> You're welcome. I guess we can do this now. Ah... Unforbid all this. Oh, well. We can work on our expansion. That is a positive. We got some sugar cane. That's also a positive. I can actually put in a grind sugar cane. Grind bulk sugar cane? How much do you put into a bulk sugar cane? 50 sugar cane. Yeah, we'll just do, let's do regular grind sugar cane for now. Yeah. Okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. Haul in the gold, the antlers, and there's like a bunch of elephant tusks somewhere in here. The silver, yeah, hold that in. There we go, and the elephant tusk. Everything else, honestly, if it deteriorates to nothing, I will be not that mad. 
All right. Memes, go call Northeast Art had them and tell them to bring a combat supplier over. They won't have the same stuff, but at least we can still get some stuff traded. You know how it is. But yeah, just bring in, our, bring in the most valuable things. And we'll go from there. This, can you like tidy up this raw compost? Thank you. I appreciate that support. I don't think there's anything else here we can tidy up for now. Brachiosaurus hide? Sure. Tidy it all up. Literally all of it. That's as tidy as it's going to get. Okay, cool. Tidy up this fertilizer. Uh, we want a trade caravan from you. Can you bring us your finest combat supplier, please? And it's got to be your finest. If it's not your finest, I'm going to be mad. Okay, yeah, we're just going to tidy up here a bit. There we go. That's going to help us a lot. Get this stuff inside. Okay. And that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. Our expansion in Century City has begun. We got a poison ship to deal with next time. We're hopefully going to get some good trades off of some of this stuff. Automatic shotgun. Don't even. And Ragamuffin City's doing all right, too. Dismas is still running around maintaining things, but he's going to bed now. So that's a good way to end this episode. Thank you very much again for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it's going to keep coming and won't stop coming. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. And I promise you I will not hunt these brontosauruses. I promise you this. Maybe.